Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in people he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice, usually. Well, I try now, I guess. Hmm. Had a bit of a schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good 25, 30 years, yeah. But, um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah. Well, I, I have one that I got for Christmas, actually. Just, um, it's navy with white buttons, but I, I like it. I don't wear it that much, though. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, <laughs> hmm. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is is that okay? Uh. Don't <laughs> don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. They look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. Do you get what you need? Absolutely. I got that window all patched up, so what should it? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you.